And thank you for coming to my presentation to this conference. Uh, my presentation is not about English, but about Japanese, the Japanese language. But I hope this also uh, makes some contribution to this, to the aim of this conference. Uh, this is a part of my master's thesis and holistic uh, holistic studies of the na native speakers' perception, native speakers' judgment. The major, I, a major aim of the study is to explore native likeness in the speech of non-native speakers of Japanese. The study specifically focuses on the perception of hearers, that is, uh, native speakers of Japanese, and investigates the factors that play significant roles in their judgments of the uh, native likeness. The study was partly motivated by pure, simple questions such as, what's native like speech like, or uh, when people sometimes uh, say that oh, her English or her Japanese is very good, but uh, where do those words come from? Um, that, that's my pure, very pure, simple questions. And also, uh, this study stems from the past studies of non-native speakers, uh, past studies, sorry, past studies, this is a mistake, sorry, uh, stems from the past studies in functional linguistics. Okay, um, now I'll move on to their literature background in functional linguistics. Uh, the first discussion made of native like fluency was Fillmore, 1979. He proposed four dimensions of fluency of native English speakers. Uh, number one is the ability to talk at length with few poses, the ability to talk in coherent reason and semantically dense sentences. The third one is the ability to have appropriate things to say in a wide range of contexts. And the last one is the ability to be creative and imaginative in the language used. But the most remarkable studies of native like speech were wholly insider. Uh, they discussed two prominent differences between native and non native speaker speeches as linguistic puzzles which is native life selection and native life fluency. And they propose two characteristics as key elements that mark native likeness in English. The first one is one close of the time facility, which means that a fluent speaker regularly encodes one close and avoids the need for mid-close hesitations. And the second one is memorized sentence and lexicalized sentence stem which is currently developed into a new research field and generally recognized as public language. What's interesting in these past studies and discussions is that they are all pointing out that the location of poses is one of the key elements for native like speech of English. Then an inevitable question arose. Is it true of the Japanese native likeness? In addition, these past discussions of native like speech were all, all made in a top-down approach from the uh, perspective of linguists. Accordingly, another inevitable question was, how do common native speakers uh, non-linguists perceive non-native speakers' speech? Is the linguist criterion of native like speech also applicable to that of non linguists? In order to work out these questions, this study put forward the following three research questions. One, do the native Japanese speakers' perceptions agree with the gra uh, grammaticality of non native speech? The second one, do their perceptions focus on pronunciation? And the last one is, are there any other important factors that must be considered? The participants of my study were 108 native speakers of Japanese living in the Tokyo metropolitan area. 
Of those 108 participants, 106 were undergraduate students and two were housewives in their 30s. A study packet was distributed to each participant. It included a CD of four learners' interviews, transcripts in Japanese of the four interviews, four questionnaire sheets on the four interview, four interview with speech, a personal information sheet, and a consent form. Um, about the material, one of the materials. Their questionnaire consists of uh, 45 question items and answers were based on the five-point Likert scale. Their question items were based on the results of a pilot study, Phil Moore's 1979 definition of fluency, and communication strategies of Journey and Scott, 1997. And the four interviews were all given to non-native Japanese speakers by native Japanese speakers. The interviews were selected carefully by the current researcher out of the Uemura corpus, uh, which is a corpus of interviews that follow the procedure of actual OPI interviews. All the interviews were contracted to 15 minutes 